Hello friends, it's Allison Vanderslice and welcome back to another video. Today I am going to be doing the slice it up of a 12 by 12 piece of paper and making nine cards. I am currently taking off the excess pieces of glue and paper and these are three stacked high. So there are three 12 by 12 papers right now going through my trimmer. These are thin pages, so I don't have any problem going through, and sometimes I might double back just to make sure I get everything cut. And here's what those patterns look like. We're first going to start off by cutting our strips, and we're just going to cut three inches all the way across. So that will leave you with four three inch wide strips. Technically, I guess it would be 12 since we have them triple stacked. Remember, you can use any style paper and you don't even have to use all three like I'm doing. You can use one if you want. Taking one of those strips of three stacked on top, we're going to cut them into three inch squares. So three by three. And we're just gonna do that all the way down. We're going to grab another stack of three and this one we're going to cut at four inches and we'll do that all the way down. So we'll have four by three inch pieces. Grab another set of three, and again, we'll cut these at four inches. Now here I was contemplating if I wanted to do more three inches, if I wanted to do some three and a halfs, but in the end, I said I'm going for the four inch. We're gonna take that last stack of three, and we're gonna cut this one at five and a half. So that will be a five and a half by three inches. And then we're going to slide it up and then cut it at five. So then we're left with three half inch pieces. I actually didn't end up using though now that I'm looking back at it. I thought I was going to, but I didn't. So here is some examples of how I'm gonna lay out the cards. I separated all the pieces and just stacked them together. So that way I have each one per card. So I'm not repeating the patterns on the cards. And then I'm just layering them however I like. Now we're just gonna go through the process of adhering the scrapbook paper onto the card bases. These card bases are all pre-made card bases from Michaels. I'm gonna be using liquid glue again today because it's cost effective for batch making and it's easy to move the pieces around. If you're not comfortable with the liquid glue, use whatever adhesive you feel most comfortable with. I'm just going to continue adhering these onto the card bases. I'm gonna add some music through this process. As I continue to adhere these to the card fronts, I'm going to put on some music for your enjoyment.
All right, we finished all of our card fronts. Here's what they ended up looking like. All right, I know people like the crinkling sound of packaging, so I thought I would leave that part in. I grabbed these up at the dollar tree around me, and I'm going to just separate them out so that way I have a small heart and then a big heart of opposing colors for all the card fronts. And here I am just stacking them on top of each other, showing you what I'm talking about. And then we're just going to put two on the card fronts. So we'll have either a big red and a small pink on one card front or a big pink small red on the other card front and here i am just laying out all the cards and then putting the hearts on top so that way i can just pick them up and glue them and be ready to go when i adhere these ones i will use tape runner because i feel more confident in that with the glitter than the liquid glue but again use what you are comfortable with Again, I'll add some music through this process for you. I hope you enjoy. And there we go. We have our February Slice It Up. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you liked it, make sure you give it a thumbs up. And if you enjoy my content, feel free to subscribe. I hope to see you again next time. Have a great day.